Sports Holder for iFilm London. I'm in the Sheffield Institute of Sport today. With me, I've got one of the country's top prospects, Scott Quigg. All right, Scott? Yeah, good, thank you, mate. We're here today for the Amir Carnivus Julio Diaz weigh-in um, and the undercard. T talk to me a little bit about, about the fight, please, Scott. Uh, it's uh, a fight, uh, Amir... He's gonna come in. He's got. It's his first fight back in the UK for a while, and he's gonna hopefully put on a good show. Um, I seen Ame training the other day in the gym. He's looking sharp. Uh, training's gone well over there, so it's. it's I think it's gonna be a cracking fight. You're privy uh, training obviously Gallagher's gym, which is based in Ame Khan's gym as well. So you must see Ame quite a lot training coming out when he's when he's in the country. I mean, yeah, when he's in the country, he pops into the gym. He does a bit of training with us and all that. And, and, it, and it's good because and you, you learn off someone, so he's world class uh, and you can pick little things up and it's good to be around and around people like that because it spurs you on and want to achieve what he's achieved. How much of, a, how, how much of an impact do you think Amir Khan's speed will make on Julio Diaz come tomorrow night? Oh, look, we all know um, Amir's speed's phenomenal. You know, I know someone who's done a bit of sparring with him recently and he said his hand speed's absolutely unreal never seen anything like it and speed also generates power timing and that that's we all know Amir's best attribute is his speed and I think that's what's going to cause the most problems for Julio Diaz tomorrow he's, he's not in his prime as we know but he's still anyone who gets in the ring is dangerous but I think it's his speed that's going to be a massive factor tomorrow and I'm expecting him probably mid to late stoppage Another fight that's caught the imagination of the people, Deontay Wilder, 27 fights, 27 KOs against our very own Audley Harrison. Talk to me a little bit about that, please. Scott. The guy's a beast. I've just been uh, stood next to him over there and he's a, he's, a, he's a big man. He looks the real deal, doesn't he? He, he does. Uh, he, talks to, he, he talks a good fight as well. Uh, and everyone that's put in front of him, he's, he's put him away. And I think if he hits anyone at heavyweight, he's going to put him away. Uh, all the Harrison, we know, we've seen glimpses of what he can do. When he shows up, it, you, you see glimpses of world-class ability. Yeah. It's just whether... It's whether he can it, be consistent enough, isn't it? It's whether he turns up and I think they've, they've sparred before, so they know each other. So it, I think this is the, the fight I'm looking forward to. Two big guys and, you know, Audley talks a good fight, but he's not taught much for this. So let's see, let's see who turns up and, but I think, if that do not know why they hate anyone to go in. Um, a lot of people obviously talk about yourself. Yeah. A lot of people call you out. I don't know if you take interest in that many people calling you out. Recently, Kid Anwar, uh, Kid Anwar, Kid Galahad, uh, my man Barry, has been, been a bit vocal about yourself. W w what have you got to say about all that? He's been, he's been vocal about uh, Carl Frampton in the past. Jazz, uh, he was supposed to be there to fight Jazza Dickens, but didn't end up fighting him. Uh, people, people want to be in them big fights. I'm, I'm lucky to be in a division where you've got me, Carl Frampton, Jazzy Dickens, and Kid Gallard. You know, there's four good fighters. That I believe I'm the best um, at the minute. I'm, to be honest with you, not looking back behind at Kid Galahad or Jazzy Dickens or, you know, you've got Carl Frampton, who's European champion, and I think people want to see me and Carl see who's number one and two. I mean, you've got. Kid there and Jazza, three and four. She's the she's the best out of that. Me and Cal will hopefully sort our who's number one or two out, and then you know we go from there. You can, there's, a, there's a good mix. But it's like I say, people call you wait. For, when people call you, it's because you you've got something they want. You're doing something right. Doing you? something right, yeah. But I just hopefully I'll have a date soon and. I can start moving forward again. We come down to your gym. I from London spent the day in Gallagher's gym uh, with yourself, Joe, and the rest of the camp. Hey, they looked after us. We had a good day. Again, there was no date for you then. Is there any any plans? Of what's going on? Can we can we know when we can see you out? I'm I'm hoping to be out as soon as I can. I mean, they said there's something in the pipeline and they're working on something. So, you know, it's just about getting the exact date and then moving forward. But I'm confident they're going to come up with something and things. I'm going to be, once the ball starts rolling, there won't be no stopping me then. Last thing I want to touch on, Martin Murray, Martinez. Massive task ahead of Martin Murray. Can you talk to me a little bit about that? Yeah, it's a massive task for Martin, but it's one that he believes he can win. I believe he's got a chance. There's a, there's a lot of people that say, um, there's, there's quite a few people that I've spoken to that say he has got a chance. Um, Sergio's getting on now, he's just had a knee operation. You never know how that's going to play out. You never know 
whether he's going to get old overnight. Uh, but not going. We all know it's a, a mammoth task for him. But it's one that he's going to go out there and he's going to give it his all. He's not going to go out there and fold under the pressure because there's 40,000 Argentinians in there. He'll go in there, enjoy it, and 100% believe he's going to win. And I think there is a chance that he could shock the world. Martinez, just an interesting fact I read the other day. He was Argentina's this year's number one sporting personality. Do you know who came third? No. Messi. So, well, that just shows... That shows you the popularity of the man out there. Exactly, and it's one of them. I think Martin's going to be up against it if, because he's fighting in front of his hometown and he wants to put a show on. And like I say, he's been saying he's going to get him out of there within eight rounds. This is going to be probably the the best Martinez we're going to have seen for a while. So like I say, Martin's got a massive task, but it's one that he believes in his team, believes he can win, and that's the main thing. You go in there with confidence that you can win. and. In boxing, one punch changes the fight. Well, we both wish Martin Murray the best of luck in Argentina and hopefully he comes back victorious. Yeah. Well, listen, Scott, I want to thank you. The way it's just about to start, I want to thank you for talking to us from London. It's always a pleasure, mate, and I look forward to catching up with you again. Thank you, mate. Thank you. This is James Holder with Scott Quigg for iFilm London. Thank you very much.